Today I will discuss product invariant properties of general product spaces. Namely, today I will discuss t naughtness and t oneness. First, we shall prove the theorem for t naught topological spaces. Let x lambda, t lambda, lambda belongs to capital lambda, be an arbitrary collection of t naught topological spaces, and let x be the Cartesian product. Let t be the product topology on x. Then the product space x t is t naught if and only if each coordinate space is t naught. Let us prove this theorem. Let each coordinate space be t naught. Then we have to prove that the product space is t naught. So we have to show that for any two distinct points in X, there exists an open set in X containing one of the points but not containing the other point. So let X is equal to X lambda, lambda belongs to capital lambda and Y is equal to Y lambda, lambda belongs to capital lambda be two distinct points of X and since they are distinct their all coordinates can't be equal so there are some coordinates say mu -th coordinates are not equal so let x mu is not equal to y mu for some mu in capital lambda where x mu and y mu are belonging to x mu as x mu t mu is t naught so there exists g mu some open set in t mu such that x mu belongs to g mu but y mu doesn't belong to g mu and then pi mu inverse of x mu is contained in pi mu inverse of g mu pi mu inverse of x mu contains all those elements of x whose mu at coordinate is x mu and since mu coordinate of x is x mu so x belongs to pi mu inverse of g mu and y mu doesn't belong to g mu so pi mu inverse of g mu is not contained in pi mu inverse of g mu in particular y belongs to pi mu inverse of g mu y mu because pi mu inverse of g y mu contains all those elements of x whose mu -th coordinate is y mu and since mu -th coordinate of y is y mu so y doesn't belong to pi mu inverse of g mu as pi mu is continuous and g mu is open and we know that inverse image of any open set under a continuous map is open so pi mu inverse of g mu is open in x so we have shown that for two distinct points x y in x there exists an open set pi mu inverse g mu in x such that x belongs to pi mu inverse of g mu but y doesn't belong to pi mu inverse of g mu Hence, x t is t naught. Conversely, let x t be t naught. Then we have to show that each coordinate space is t naught. Let mu belongs to capital lambda be arbitrary index, and we shall show that space x mu t mu is t naught. So we consider two distinct points of x mu. Let a mu and v mu be two distinct points of x mu. Let x and y be two points in x which differ only in mu -th coordinate. That is x lambda is equal to y lambda for all lambda different from mu. And mu -th coordinate of x that is x mu is equal to a mu and mu -th coordinate of y that is y mu is equal to b mu. 
as x and y are distinct points in x and xt is t naught. There exists an open set G in X such that X belongs to G but Y doesn't belong to G. As G is open in X, there exists a basic open set U equal to Cartesian product of U lambdas such that X belongs to U is contained in G. Actually, since G is open, G contains X, so G is neighborhood of X. So, there must exist some basic open set contained in G and containing X. So, we have taken this U. X belongs to U and U is contained in G. But, as Y doesn't belong to G and U is contained in G, so Y doesn't belong to U. Then, if we take pi mu image, then we have pi mu of x belongs to pi mu of u. And pi mu x means a mu x coordinate of x. So we have a mu belongs to mu x coordinate set of u that is u. So a mu belongs to u. Since x and y differ only in mu x coordinate and x belongs to u but y doesn't belong to u. So, mu -th coordinate of y cannot belong to mu -th coordinate set of u. That is pi mu of y doesn't belong to pi mu of u. This implies p mu. Mu -th coordinate of y is p mu. So, we have p mu doesn't belong to u mu. So, there exists an open set u mu in x mu such that a mu belongs to b u mu but b mu doesn't belong to u. So we have shown that x mu t mu is t naught and since u is arbitrary index in the index set so each coordinate space is t naught. Now we shall prove the theorem for t1 spaces. Let x lambda t lambda Lambda belongs to capital Lambda be an arbitrary collection of T1 topological spaces and let X be the Cartesian product and T be the product topology on the product. Let Then we have to show that XT is T1 if and only if each coordinate space is T1. Let us prove this theorem. So let each coordinate space is T1, then we have to prove that the product space is T1. So here we shall, we know that uh, a space is T1 if and only if every singleton set is closed in the space. So here we shall use this result. So let X be an arbitrary element of X is of the form x lambda lambda belongs to capital lambda then x lambda belongs to capital x lambda for each lambda in capital lambda as x lambda t lambda is t1 singleton x lambda is closed in x lambda for each lambda in capital lambda and since each projection pi lambda is continuous so inverse image of x lambda under pi lambda is closed in x. We know that if function is continuous then inverse image of any closed set is closed. So here since singleton x lambda is closed so inverse image of this closed set under pi lambda is closed in x for each lambda in capital lambda. And we also know that intersection of arbitrary collection of closed sets is closed and so intersection of these closed sets is closed in x. We claim that intersection of pi lambda inverse x lambda, lambda belongs to capital lambda is equal to singleton x. That is this contains only one element that is x. Let 
z belongs to intersection of phi lambda inverse x lambda then z belongs to phi lambda inverse singleton x lambda for each lambda in capital lambda and phi lambda inverse x lambda is the set of all those elements of x whose lambda at coordinate is equal to x lambda and so z lambda is equal to x lambda but this is true for every lambda in capital lambda so we can say that z lambda is equal to x lambda for every lambda in capital lambda so all the coordinates of z and x are same so we can say that both the points are same so we have z is equal to x so this intersection contains only x point and so we can say that our claim is um, true and so this contains this is actually this is exactly singleton x and since this is closed this is closed in x so singleton x is closed in x so here we have taken x any arbitrary point and we have shown that singleton x is closed in x so every singleton set is closed in x hence x t is t1 we can prove this theorem by the first definition of t1 spaces and you can take it as homework conversely let x t be t1 then we have to show that each coordinate space is t1 let mu belongs to capital lambda be arbitrary and suppose a mu b mu be two distinct points of x mu actually we shall show that x mu t mu is t1 so we are taking two distinct points a mu b mu and we use the same trick here let x and y be two points in x which differ only in mu -th coordinate that is x mu is equal to y mu for every sorry x lambda is equal to y lambda for every lambda different from mu and mu -th coordinate of x that is x mu is equal to a mu and mu -th coordinate of y that is y mu is equal to b mu as x and y are distinct points in x and x t is t1 there exist two open sets g and h in x such that x belongs to g but y doesn't belong to g and y belongs to h but x doesn't belong to h actually here we are using the definition of t1 spaces a space is said to be t1 if for any two points x y in x there exists an open set containing x but not containing y and there exists an open set which contains y but doesn't contain x so by the, the very definition of t1 spaces here we have two open sets g and x such that x belongs to g but y doesn't belong to g and x belongs to h but x doesn't belong to, y belongs to h but x doesn't belong as g and h are open in x and here yeah, g is open so g is a neighborhood of x so there may, must exist some basic open set contained in g and containing x and we, we are taking that open set as u and since y belongs to h so y h is a neighborhood of y so there must exist some basic open set V which is contained in H and containing Y. So we have this X belongs to U is contained in G but Y doesn't belong to U as Y doesn't belong to G and U is contained in G so Y doesn't belong to U and Y belongs to V contained in H but as H, X doesn't belong to H so x doesn't belong to v then x belongs to u gives pi mu of x belongs to pi mu of u implies 
mu-th coordinate of x that is a mu belongs to mu-th coordinate set of u that is u. a mu belongs to u. Since x and y differ only in mu-th coordinates, x belongs to u and y doesn't belong to u means mu-th coordinate of y doesn't belong to mu-th coordinate set of u. That means d mu doesn't belong to u. Similarly, we can show that from this y belongs to v and x doesn't belong to v. We can show that v mu belongs to v mu but a mu doesn't belong to v mu. So, there exist two open sets u mu and v mu in x mu such that a mu belongs to u mu but b mu doesn't belong to u mu and b mu belongs to h mu but a mu doesn't belong to h mu. Thus x mu t mu is t1. Hence we can say that each coordinate space is t1 because here u is an arbitrary index. So we can show that each coordinate space is t. Thank you.